Welcome to another episode of Salty Zeg Rules. I'm uh, going to continue uh, discussing about my favourite uh, head coaches of all time in the NFL. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing about Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells, of course, legendary uh, Giants head coach. Um, so Bill Parcells uh, became the head coach of the Giants in 1983. Um, he was previously before that he was a defensive coordinator for the franchise. Uh, in '84, however, he had a t shocking, shocking year. Um, you know, the f they had a losing season, and a lot of the fans, the Giants Nation, basically aimed their guns at the owners, at the Mara family, saying they have made the the worst decision the franchise can make, hiring uh, Parcells as uh, the head coach. But in 85, however, Parcells built a team. He built, he obviously had players like Phil Sims, legendary LT, Carl Banks, uh, you know, Harry Carson. You know, these legendary, legendary players uh, that the Giants have had, and he developed this team. And to be fair, like the strongest point of the Giants was the defense and LT, was the X factor of what the Giants defense is all about. He was just, this guy was unstoppable, absolutely unstoppable. Um, literally in the 85 season, he led the Giants all the way to the NFC Championship game, where unfortunately for the Giants, they ended up losing to the, uh, the notorious 85 Chicago's Bears team that ended up winning the Super Bowl that year. However, what I like about Bill Parcells, um, during, after the 85 season, he had a little thing to himself. And I think, you know, he had the, a lot of discussing discussions with his coaches. Um, you know, he started saying, he started looking at, at his team. He had, again, uh, like the players I've mentioned before, he thinks to himself, why the hell are we not winning the Lombardi Trophy? Why are we not Super Bowl champions? What is wrong with my team and my scheme and my philosophy to the game that's not working you know uh, and the thing is about Bill Parcells his players they knew the players knew they were good by the way you know they knew they were good but can they get it can they deliver it on when the when the spotlight was on them again for the second year reaching the NFC championship game possibly going to Super Bowl and that's what Bill Parcells did he implemented this idea of winning you know and what and what he implemented as well in that fact was a winning mentality you know a hungry mentality to go ahead and get it get just destroy teams offensively just crush them you know and that's what he did and that's what he did he he used his players to the maximum capability in that 86 season he, the team literally smashed the 49ers, and that was a 49ers team, by the way. That was really, really good. Smashed them in a divisional game. They, they in the NFC Championship, they smashed the uh, Redskins, um, which was also a very, very talented team as well, and ended up winning the Super Bowl uh, against John Elway's Denver Broncos. The Giants won their first Super Bowl in, um, uh, in their franchise history coaching staff he had, um, his, basically his coaching team. Thing is I like about Parcells, he not only built a team, he built a franchise. So he built, so he literally hired his own scouts, he hired his own uh, linebackers coach, how they trained, how they did their nutrition. He, he was basically the, the kind of like head teacher of this whole kind of classroom. You know, uh, of course, one of the most famous coaches that worked under Parcells was, of course, Bill Belichick, who was arguably probably the, one of the best defensive coordinators uh, at the time to coach. And, uh, you know, him and, I mean, as, as professional relationship that they've had in all those years that they worked together. Um, but Bill Parcells was always the one. If their defense was not playing well, he wouldn't go up to LT. He wouldn't go up to Banks and say to him, "Oh, you know what? Why did why were you playing shit in that game?" 
He always used to go up to Bill Belichick in front of the other players in the dressing room and say, Bill, why was our defense playing crap? You know? In front of the other players. Now, he treated the coach just as much as he treated the players in that locker room. You know? Everybody was equal. And I think that was what was so unique about Bill Parcells and why the Giants dressing room, the players anyway, loved to play in the room and you know, I respected him not only as just as a coach, but as a leader. He was a player's coach. You know, team respected him because he was the face of the franchise. When you think of the Giants, you think of Bill Parcells. He was a Jersey guy. He grew up like, I think, 50 minutes driving away from the Giants stadium from the Netherlands. And uh, he was what the Giants is all about. And that is why the team respected him and loved him. And not only just the player, but the coaches as well. Uh, even though they were put on the spotlight, they always respected Bill for who he was. So 1990 was Bill Parcells' second Super Bowl victory of the Giants. Um, you know, in week four, they, uh, his, his starting quarterback, Phil Sims, gets injured against the Bills. Hostetler comes in uh, as a backup QB, and a lot of people were favoring, well, you know, possibly this is definitely the end of the Giants' season. Um, but they managed to go for an 11-winning uh, game-winning streak and ended up going into the playoffs and eventually playing favourites uh, 49ers. And Bill Parcells managed to cause one of the biggest upsets uh, at the NFL ever during the 80s, um, winning at Candlestick against a very, very strong 49ers team. Um, they progressed to Super Bowl. Um, playing against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Bills, of course, very, pro arguably probably the best uh, team in the NFL offensively uh, that year. Um, the only way that Bill Parcells, he thought to himself, well, you know, with that kind of offense, the best way to kind of uh, get them off the field is to use our running game. You know, kill that clock, kill that clock. Because, you know, let's be honest, Hostetler wasn't no Sims. So he, he wasn't as free-flowing quarterback, you know, uh, as you expect. Um, so he obviously used uh, Otis Anderson, who became the MVP in that Super Bowl. Um, the Giants just kept using their running game, chewing that clock, chewing that clock. And that's the only way that they had to get the, um, the Bills offense off the field. And uh, a missed field goal from the Bills, and Bill Parsons was his second ring. So it was a huge achievement uh, how he actually bought that team. Even when their star quarterback got injured, they were not favourites, but they went there and got this job done because there's a lot of belief and he had a lot of faith in his players. And his players had a lot of faith in Bill. Um, you know, and they wanted to actually do this for Bill because they, you know, they said, well, this is a coach that actually believed in me that I can get the job done. And that's one of the key factors of what Bill implemented in his, uh, in his winning season at the Giants. After that um, Super Bowl, uh, five days after that, he resigned as the Giants head coach. Uh, he said that his, um, he wants to take a little break from the game. Uh, he had a lot of health conditions so you know he had a lot of heart problems uh, he had high blood pressure and stuff so he, he thought for his own health health he wanted just to uh, give it a little uh, break from the game so in 1993 uh, Bill Parcells decided to make a comeback to the NFL and was named the head coach of the New England Patriots um, he decided to continue his philosophy into the Patriot organization taking his coaching staff with him as well um, he took the Patriots to the AFC Championship game, uh, winning it as well. Um, he ended up coaching the Jets after afterwards, uh, taking them to the AFC Championship game. Uh, also coached the Dallas Cowboys afterwards, uh, taking them to a few uh, playoff appearances as well. Um, so what fascinates me about Bill Parcells and why I find him very, very unique is his coaching tree. Um, as you can see, his coaching tree, of course, is starting from his defensive coordinator at the Giants, and he was defensive coordinator when he was a coach at the Patriots, was Bill Belichick, who's the current, of course, the head coach of the Patriots. Uh, Tom Coughlin is another one who's won two Super Bowls with the Giants, who was the um, wide receivers coach 
under Bill Parcells in 1990. Sean Payton, New Orleans uh, Saints head coach who won the Super Bowl in 2009. Um, it was his offense coordinator at Dallas. Mark Zimmer, uh, who's the head coach of the Vikings, uh, was his defensive coordinator when he was the head coach at Dallas. So you just look at that coaching tree and you look at the success that these coaches had and what they've achieved post Bill Parcells is pretty fascinating. And these coaches that I've named all follow Bill Parcells' philosophy, which is hard, tough, rugged defense, uh, in your face kind of football. And, um, you know, and that's what makes Bill Parcells a very, very unique and special coach. That's why I find Bill Parcells very fascinating. He's not only just a coach, in my opinion, I think he's also a character, he's a personality, you know. You know, that kind of personality still lives in the game. If you watch the NFL, a lot of their, lot of their personalities are trying to imitate Bill Parcells, kind of like, you know, tough, in your face, don't give a crap kind of, uh, kind of mentality. And that's why I find it fascinating. And that's why I, he is personally my favorite NFL head coach of all time. Um, so that's a wrap, guys. That's my take on Bill Parcells. Hope you um, enjoyed this video. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about Bill Parcells. Do you think he's one of the best coaches there is in the NFL that the game has ever seen? Let me know. Stay safe and hopefully I shall see you on the next one.